It's a new year guys and you already know new year means new stuff and new expectations so I would just like to apologize for not posting a 2024 video as we were in the year just because I got so occupied with my new year and my Christmas and I honestly just completely forgot to really post a video for y'all and I do gotta say before we get to this is a Sonic Prime video by the way but this is also my first 2024 video so I just want to get some 2024 updates out of the way and then we're gonna get into Sonic Prime stuff so before we do if you don't care about my 2024 plans and you can just skip to this timestamp to get you into the Sonic Prime content alright but so first things first thing also want to help me get to 200 subscribers y'all are the best and y'all if y'all probably wondering how I get to 200 so fast it's thanks to my Sonic Prime official chiller season 3 reaction that got so many views with a whopping 43 likes one of my most liked videos on the channel and it looks like it's trying to compete to be one of my most viewed videos also so most of my subscribers came for that one video so that's honestly incredible to see and i'm um, speaking of subscribers i actually have a um friend who is also another youtuber but he has like a lot of subscribers and he actually told me that he's gonna shout me out and help me hit 500 subscribers so if you randomly see my channel at 500 subscribers then you know why it's because he shouted me out and um i don't know what he's gonna do it he just told me he's gonna do it it's just gonna happen in random days so yeah just be looking out for that if you're ever like curious another thing um my 2024 plan i actually have a calendar i will be posting videos on mondays wednesdays and uh S saturdays only on those three days I'll be posting videos and I'm saying that Saturday if you are a huge fan of me and you're looking forward to a new one of my new videos then you know what day to wait on and why am I doing this is because I want to see more organized and more um, straightforward when it comes to posting videos so I'll just post a random video like on a random day y'all will know when to expect a video I won't be doing them every Monday and every Wednesday and whatever but I'm going to do them as much as I can and this is a reaction channel so Obviously, there's gonna have a time when there's a trailer for something and it might come out on a day that I don't post videos If you're wondering about that, for example, if there's a new trailer for Kung Fu Panda that comes out on Tuesday I will post my reaction on Wednesday Alright, just because I want to respect the calendar and I'm pretty sure it doesn't change that much Because most of my views comes like days after it doesn't really come on the day it comes out So it's like completely fine if I post a video a day later and what else I'm actually planning now that I've gotten a capture card last year, if y'all saw my uh, Nintendo Switch tutorial video, y'all would know that I can now like like stream or just record Nintendo Switch games and HD. So I'm planning to do like let's plays. I know, I know, I've said I'm gonna stop doing that, but I'm not gonna start by doing it full time. Just not, it's just an idea that I have in my mind that I really would like to start back doing because it was a lot of fun back then. I'm just a little scared to return to it because it was a little stressful too and I really just like doing reactions. After making my um, 2020, my best of lightning 2022 video, it really did show me how I really did like reactions, you know, so it's, it's just something I have in mind. I'm just putting that there because next month is going to mark one year since I stopped doing Let's Plays on this channel because this channel basically started off with Let's Plays. Another thing, this might be the year that Nintendo might release its new console. So, who knows, this is probably a bright year for your boy, but a lot is going on with me in my personal life, not bad, it's just a lot of life changing decisions I will have to make, and it's going to change me, and it's going to change the way how I'm going to be posting on YouTube, so I will not be posting as much as I posted in 2023 or in 2022, so just a little warning, you, you, the boy is getting busy, life is getting harder, I'm going to make 20 this year, so yeah. And what else did I have to mention? If I did forget something, I might just mention in another video, but I guess that's pretty much it for my 2024 plan. So, yeah. I, if y'all are wondering where is my Aquaman 2 review, I would not make no review on that movie because when I watched that movie this year, it sucked. And it didn't feel worth reviewing. I just didn't like it. It's honestly just forgettable. Like, I forgot about the movie. I'm going to have to watch it if I don't really want to make a review. So, yeah. That's move, that movie is obviously out of the way, so if y'all really want to review, I'm going to give it a 
4 out of 10. It was not good, could have been way better, but hey, there was some good part about it. Let's get in to the Sonic Prime Season 3 content. Alright guys, so initially I had a Sonic Prime Season 3 theory video planned. I mentioned that in my other video, but I actually ended up not doing that because by the time I was ready to make it, they already released the first episode of Season 3. I was like, damn, I'm kind of late to the party now. And we're literally just less than two days away from the actual premiere. Because it's funny, I'm making this video on the day of my brother's birthday. But Sonic Prime Season 3 will be releasing on my sister's birthday. So that's kind of interesting though. But that does not matter right now though. Um, for right now, we're just going to be doing my review on the first episode of Sonic Prime Season 3. So I already watched it. So basically, just a quick synopsis. After the events of Season 2... Nine has all the shards and he's gonna create his own green hill of his own liking but he needs Sonic's power to complete his plan. Meanwhile Sonic and Shadow are forced to team up to take down Nine. But while they're doing this things don't exactly go to plan and they actually get defeated by Nine this episode. So I'm gonna say this from now. This episode is obviously a 10 out of 10 episode. I love this episode so much. Sonic and Shadow's dynamic works so good. Nine is will be a very threatening villain i can see he's kind of trying to be a good guy but i say that he's just threatening he's brutal he should have knocked out shadow and that was our cliffhanger of the episode seeing how nine is a quick tinker is an amazing and it just makes you wonder what the other episode is going to be like this was this was only one episode by the way and it felt like i was halfway through the season already so i'm just going to tell you off now if sonic prime season three is paced based off of this one episode that we saw um, my hypes are so, yo, I'm so hyped to watch this season. It might just be my favorite season just because it, there's so much going on and it's so fast paced. And they didn't even bother like showing us the other stories in this episode. They just showed us Sonic and Shadow, which was really good. So we already saw to show how we're going to get the other guys from the other dimension. They're going to be teamed up with a different Eggman. So this episode was incredible. Seeing Sonic and Shadow fight me on Sonic, it was action packed, straight to the point. Shadow is really playing, Shadow, I like, I, if y'all didn't know, in my season 2 review, I mentioned how I like Shadow, and I like the way that they're not going to touch him, I don't want him to change Shadow, I want him to stay the same way, because this man, this big brother aspect that he's giving to Sonic is really good, and I like it so much, Shadow is generally there to help, and Sonic wants to help too, I'm, they're actually as close to fixing Sonic, you know, he actually seems a bit smarter this time around, and... I guess I'm just have to see the rest of the season so far, but so far, bang your first episode. I loved it so much. I didn't get bored at all. I was actually I did it my seat. I was like, bro, what's gonna be the cliffhanger for this? This is this they're getting like everything on the road and seeing Tails create the robot versions of Amy, Knuckles, and all that was just honestly awesome. So uh, this episode is getting a 9.5 out of 10. It was nearly perfect. And Sonic really looks like he's ready, like ready to like sacrifice himself just to save his friends, as we see in the beginning of the episode, because he really does want to bring back his friends. That's like his number one goal. So before we're done with that, I'm gonna watch it the exact day when it comes out, and so you can expect my review on Saturday, because I will be I post videos on Saturdays, as I mentioned before. So yeah, guys, that was my review on Time Crisis Season Three. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, let me know what you think about my 2024 plans. If you're a huge fan of me, I hope that you're not sad or disappointed or whatever. And I'm just trying to do a little changes, you know? Like, New Year, same me, I guess. I mean, I did, I, your boy did do a little changes. Like, I cut both of my eyebrows, not a big of a deal. I just want to do something a little stylish, you know? A lot of people like it, but anyways, that's so off topic. Um, See y'all, have a good day. Hope you like the original, by the way.